It's finally here. I can't believe it. This has been like three videos in the making for me, but my Fire Stick, my 4K Fire Stick, is finally updated to the new interface. Is it been updated for you or has it been updated for you? Because it's only half updated for me. This Fire Stick that I'm going to show you has been updated, obviously. My other Fire Stick, which I bought first, I believe, I believe that's a first gen 4K Fire Stick, has not been updated yet. If you're still waiting, I've got a few tips for you. It's not just the, the general what you've heard before. It's pretty much a little bit more detail. And unfortunately, it's going to have, there's no magic wand. It's going to have, you're going to have to show a little bit of patience, but I will be able to let you know how far down the line you actually are. So let's just see it anyway, because I'm excited. I haven't even touched it yet. So uh, let's go straight into it. And here we are, it's uh, introducing the all new Fire TV experience. We've got all new main menu, personalize Fire TV with profiles and decide what you want to find with find or what you want to watch with find. Let's just click on the OK button and let's see what it looks like. There we are. Now, how slick is that? I've been staring at the old one for so long. The old one reminds me of the old uh, Apple TV, Apple TV 2 from feels like 20 years ago. That's what this and the old interface reminds me of. This is a little bit more slicker. Um, and I've just realized I've got the audio on, so I'll need to get rid of that. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm sure I'll be able to work it out. Uh, but at the very, very top, we've still got the advertising. I don't think we'll ever be able to get rid of that. And we have got, let's see, we have profiles. And it automatically remembers my name, which is great. If I wanted to add a profile, I'm sure you'd know about this anyway, but I haven't seen it before, so I'm going to try it. And how easy is it? There we go. There's one from my wife. I'll just do that. That's handy. So from my Amazon account, it recognizes the fact that uh, I've got another uh, person in my family that's got an Amazon account or it's linked to it. And yes, we will do that and we will give her a profile icon of that. Really, it's pretty good. Right, let's uh, add it. And there we go. So we've got uh, another profile. So if I go into Tracy's profile, uh, we will see that it looks a little bit different. Yeah, right. So at the very top, we've got home, we've got find. That is your new search. I do remember that from other videos that I have actually seen on this. So I'm not completely raw and new on it, but we've got a search where we do search or we can use the voice remote as normal. And then we've got different categories. Okay, let's fancy a documentary. There we go. So we've got now documentaries. So it makes it all a little bit easier. And we can also recommend categories. So let's say I wanted war films. And then just goes into war film, four films. Can I put that into the recommended categories? Probably, mm, don't know. Don't know. And then we've got the live section, which I really do like, I must admit. Uh, we've got our BBC iPlayer, basically the same as it was before. We've got Pluto TV, Twitch, and uh, Red Bull. Red Bull. There you go. So that's pretty much the same. It just looks a little bit different. And then we've got the six icons at the top, the six kind of shortcuts, which is, I like that because you just go into it and it's got some recommendations for you uh, be, pr based on your previous content. That must be, I can't remember watching anything like that. My, my wife's obviously been watching stuff. And there we go. So it's that's Prime Video. I like the fact that you can go straight into Prime Video. Uh, that is, oh, that's deals. So that I was about to say that are completely free, but that is not. Uh, I do feel as if they can, I wish they had a section on Prime where you could literally just go in and it lists all the Prime movies, not just the ones they want to recommend. I really would do wish they would do that. Uh, but they've, they've then got YouTube. I wish it would give you recommendations like they do on the Chromecast. Uh, as soon as you go into YouTube. 
Right, so what else we got? Please press select to view all your apps and channels. It gives you, these are, so these are all the channels that I've got on it. And if I want to move any of these in, then I assume I just uh, press the button with the three lines and then you can move to your heart's content or you can just move up front. Okay. I see that there. Move it up. And there we go. So it's up there. Fantastic. Okay. Right. What I want to do though is I want to put this up front because I quite like my Apple TV until I have to pay for it. And then I will cancel it because I've got it free because I bought an iPhone. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, I like that so far. And what I also like is this section here. I really do like that. It is nice. Right, okay, so I did mention before that if you're waiting for the update, that, you know, a way to get it. Now, I know you've probably seen in other videos that you go into My TV, and then you go into, is it About? And then you go check for updates. And I've got 6.2.8.0. Now, if I check for updates, you never know, it might be more updates. Um, no, it's up to date. Now, what I did do is I checked on my other Fire Stick. I should really have this ready. I'll put this on screen anyway. I took a picture of it. And the current version I'm on in the, my other Fire Stick is 6.2.7.7. .7. Now, what I did notice before I got this update was I made a, this video. I made this video last week. I thought I was all ready and I thought I was, it's, you know, you, you've got updates, brilliant. And I pressed it and it was just a minor update. Now that happened two or three times. Make sure that's basically you have to go through that process. There's several updates that you have to go through before you get the big one here. But if you've got your automatic updates, it will just do that without you knowing anyway. Uh, but if you haven't got automatic updates on, then you have to go through the My Fire TV. The other tip is make sure it's not plugged into USB. It has to be plugged into the plug. Whether or not that's 100% accurate, but it does recommend that you do that anyway. Sorry, whoa, I'm just going to interrupt there. As usual, I've promised you that I would do something and I have just realised that I did not show it in the original video, so I'm recording this now. I did say that this little bit at the top can be annoying with the audio content blaring all the time and uh, how to get rid of it. Well, I'm just going to show you that right now. You go along to settings here, this little cog here, Exact same in the other older Fire Stick. You just go into settings and then you go into preferences. Now, um, once you go into preferences, you go into featured content. And once you're in here, that's where you see allow video autoplay or a allow audio autoplay. Now, depending on your preference there, uh, turn one of those or both of those off. I'm just going to keep the video autoplay going for the moment. So there we go. I think that's just my initial reaction on this and I like it. I've been waited for, waiting for so long. Have you got it yourself? Do you have this interface? Do you prefer this interface? On first glance, I still think I def prefer the, on the most part anyway, just for the look on the Chromecast, 4K Chromecast, I think that's a nicer layout and it integrates all the apps that we watch, um, you know, for recommendations. I really do like that because half the time I see things that I don't even know are available and I like that. I like to discover new stuff. So hope this hasn't bored you. You've probably seen it already in the past, but let me know if you've got this update or, or you're waiting for this update or indeed you've already got this update and when you got it and are you still waiting for another device, uh, another Amazon device to be updated and you might have already had. So you're in the same as me. You've got one that's updated, another one that hasn't been updated. Let me know. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.